This is an example of a video to show what the street can be used for and what it was invented for. This is a two-wheeled robot that is controlled from a host machine, in my case a MacBook Pro, that is connected to the same Wi-Fi network via a 5-port Ethernet switch. The code to control the robot is pretty simple. It's basically just a few line processing code that sends steering commands depending on the keys that are pressed. In this case, the motors are not synchronized, meaning that the drive commands are just sent to each motor via JSON encoded strings without having a low level synchronization of the motors, which basically means that if one motor has some lag or the network is slow at some point, the motors won't drive at the same time. But as you can see, this is not a problem when a few milliseconds are not crucial for operation. To make it a bit more interesting and to underline the benefit of Ethernet connected motors, I added a gripper from an older project that was built to sort 18650 battery cells by capacity. As the original motor flange was also a NEMA 17, I was able to just connect the Ethernet controller to it pretty easily. Adding power via a XT30 white piece and an Ethernet cable for communication was also no problem. Implementation on the code side is also easy, as I just have to copy and paste from the steering commands and change the IP address for the new motor. It took less than 10 minutes to connect the new gripper and write the code for it. The other cool thing is that the robot's logic code doesn't change. Adding another axis or actuator doesn't require any thoughts about timing or resource management as the processing happens on the Ethersweep controller itself. Doing the same on an Arduino for example with a superloop structure would take much longer and requires more thoughts on the low level domain. The Ethersweep function I used was a ramping mode. It takes step, speed and slope for the most important values. And the ramp allows me to slowly increase the speed of the motors to prevent them from slipping or losing steps. I change the speed and the steps of the steering motors by moving the mouse in X and Y direction in my little processing sketch. This is how the whole setup looks like again. It is just the frame, the battery, 5 port Ethernet switch, some cable and the Ether Sweep controllers. The controlling computer is connected to the Wi-Fi network of the switch and of course could also be via LAN cables or Ethernet cables. To make the Ethernet switch compatible to the 12 volts from the battery, I also had to add a buck converter to step down the voltage to 5 volts. I also added a XT30 connector to the switch. If you find this stuff useful and want to support it, please share, like and subscribe. If you want to build an Ethersweep controller yourself, check out the Hackaday or GitHub page. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask or write a comment. Thanks!